Hello and welcome back to the Money Mentor channel where today we are going to look at the share price forecast of 3i Group. Uh, 3i are a UK based investment business um, in the FTSE 100, so middle of the uh, middle of the ranking uh, with a market cap of 14.13 billion as you can see here. Uh, they've got an enterprise value of 15 billion so they're carrying a little bit of debt just under a billion uh, which isn't particularly uh, troubling at this uh, this point and a revenue of just under 3 billion. Uh, the Stockopedia stock rank um, is giving it a score of 90 so uh, it's certainly one that we'd be interested in taking a further look at if we were looking to buy this share in the coming weeks and months. Um, you can see 3i's trend over the last year has been um, fairly positive certainly very significantly positive in the uh, last part of the year from June onwards up to now. Uh, interestingly if we actually have a look at the two-year chart um, in fact, look at the three year chart to include the COVID dip. And you can see it's actually been on quite a positive trend for the last three years, really, um, apart from the COVID dip there and then powering on, uh, powering up through here. So if you had, were lucky enough to uh, decide to purchase this um, at the bottom of the COVID dip, where it was about 621, um, then you're on the way up for certainly doubling your money uh, quite easily over that period of time. So taking some look at the uh, uh, figures here. I know this is a price forecast and we'll come on to that a little bit later but if we actually have a look you can see momentum has been positive all the way that's not surprising. We're just just below 4% under the 52 week high so we are at a high point already. Price earnings ratio is very very low at 6.1 so it's um, uh, positive for the industry and positive for the market. Dividend yield showing a modest 3% so uh, not too bad in this uh, climate but nothing to, uh, to get too excited about. Uh, return on capital and equity are both solid and an operating margin of 97.05. I mean, I'm not sure if that's right. That's what it's saying there, but uh, that is significantly high. Maybe it's just a commission based business. Health trend on the F score basis is five. So again, nothing particularly um, exciting to write home about there. And there's nothing on the Z score risk. We can see if we look at the revenue here, we can see we've got some pot, some uh, a positive trend up there other than 2020, where it all seemed to have gone a bit wrong. Um, I don't know whether they did something wrong with their accounts um, or something happened, but they'd gone from uh, a billion in revenue in 19 to nearly 2 billion in revenue in 2021 and then uh, just 230 million in 2020. So not sure what happened there, but it uh, doesn't look too promising. Uh, we're now on the trailing 12 months for this year is going to be its highest ever. It's going to be looking at about 2.8 billion, which is good news. And the net profit uh, is a profitable business all the way through, although it's a little bit tight in 2020, as we said before. Um, we know we've got a 3% uh, on average a 3% dividend being paid so you can see here um, for the last three years a dividend 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 and at potentially 3% in the year 2023. Dividend cover uh, so we're looking at um, two, two cover or more uh, is significantly covered so five here seven seven so they could easily pay their dividend many times over so it's a very strong and robust cash generative business not too bad at all uh, we said before that it's carrying a little bit of debt so it has just under a billion pounds of debt um, slightly up on last year and if we just take a look at the average shares in circulation they're looking flat so that's good there's no uh, new shares really being brought on so you, um, shares aren't being diluted in any way at all so that's good news um, now we'll just come down to the um, where the uh, analysts analysts are suggesting the price target will be they think 1600 pence at some point in the future so that's 10 percent above the current position of 1446 so i think there's a little bit of upward movement in there not a significant amount but 10 percent uh, but if we actually have a look at the consensus of the analysts then uh, they're saying it's between a buy and a strong boy a strong buy um just gone down a little bit uh, on where it was so it was a little bit further towards the stronger buy and it's slightly lower but either way um we've got eight brokers covering it which isn't isn't a huge amount um 20 plus is a significant coverage so eight less than half the market uh, but they are still suggesting a buy or strong buy as i say we can probably see why it's a very strong um it's a very strong cash generative business with a positive momentum over the last couple of the years so are you um already invested in 3i or considering investing in 3i i have got 3i in my um in my etoro stock momentum um 
portfolio just for transparency there and a declaration. So I've been following it for a couple of years, ironically. So uh, I've indulged in uh, in, in that uh, upward trend. Uh, but were you considering buying 3i or do you think it's now overvalued? It's nearly at its peak um, and the analysis upside of 10% isn't enough. Do let us know. Drop us a comment in the comments box. We always um, try to respond if we can. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe where you can catch other videos of a similar niche. Thank you.